Daphnis and Chloe, 2nd century, by Longus. They were inseparable and did everything together, tending their flocks side by side. A passerby would have been more likely to see the sheep and the goats parted from each other than Chloe and Daphnis. His hair was black and full, and his body was tanned by the sun, it looked as though his body had taken its color from the dark hues of his hair. Chloe was looking at Daphnis, and he seemed beautiful to her. And because that moment was the first time he looked beautiful to her, she thought that the bath was the cause of his beauty. He again seemed to her to look beautiful playing the pipes, and this time she supposed the music was the cause of his beauty. As she walked off, she was moved to praise him inwardly and think how beautiful he was, and this thought was the beginning of love. What she was feeling she didn't know, since she was a girl and was raised in the country, and, because no one had told her, she had not even heard about love. She cared not for her food, lay awake at night and disregarded her flock, she laughed, then she cried, she sat down, then she leapt up, her face was pale, and then again it was fired red. I'm sick now, but what my sickness is I don't understand, I'm in pain, but haven't been injured, I feel sad, but none of my sheep is lost, I'm burning hot, yet here I am sitting in the dark shade. Daphnis is beautiful, but the flowers are too, the sound his pipes make is beautiful, but so is the song of the nightingales, yet none of these other things matters to me. These were things she felt and said in her uncertainty, but the word she was searching for was love. Chloe, had desired to kiss Daphnis for so long that she leapt up and gave him a kiss, it was quite simple and clumsy, but entirely capable of setting his heart on fire. He shivered now and again, and could not restrain the pounding in his heart, he wanted to look at Chloe, but whenever he looked at her, he turned all red. I'm short of breath, my heart is pounding, my soul is melting away, yet I want to kiss her again. This only they knew, that the kiss had destroyed him and the bath had destroyed her. The season also fired up their passions, since spring was already over, and summer was beginning. When the autumn was at its height, however, and when the grapes were ripening, pirates from Pyrrha, who were using a Carian ship so that they would look like barbarians, arrived in the fields. Disembarking with their swords and breastplates, they seized everything that they put their hands upon, fragrant wines, wheat in abundance and honey in the combs. They captured Daphnis too when he was wandering by the sea. 